Having got the matter of toy octopuses out of the way, let's turn to something that's a lot more serious. Given the situation in Gaza and Palatine, there's been a continual upsurge of religious belligerence, let's call it that for the sake of politeness on either side. On one side, we've got people shouting about woeful stuff about Muslims that is ugly to hear. And on the other side, we've got people shouting woeful stuff about Jews. One stupid bit of rubbish, and I'm not going to dignify it by calling it anything better, that's come up constantly and has been dredged up from the the bowels of European history to torture us again, is the idea of the Jew as the Christ killer. This was something that caused immense problems throughout centuries of European history and poison relationships. Now, I tend to stay off doing my own background as religion. I've done it a few times, and I'm going to do it again for this one. Firstly, the Jews did not all kill Christ, and they're not all responsible for it. And that anyone who's claiming it is from my own background as a Catholic, you are breaking the rules of the church, and it is not what the church teaches. I don't care what you have to say on it, whether you, whether you like it or not, that's not what the church teaches. Here is a catechism of the Catholic Church. If you don't like that and you think all gas Catholics worship statues or whatever, you can, of course, reject that. But if you are a fellow Catholic, you're bound by it, whether you like it or don't like it. This is the catechism. This is 597. Jews are not collectively responsible for Jesus' death. The historical complexity of Jesus' trial is apparent in the gospel accounts. The personal sin of the participants, Judas, the Sanhedrin, Pilate, is known to God alone. Hence, we cannot lay responsibility for the trial on the Jews in Jerusalem as a whole. And I'm going to repeat that. We cannot lay responsibility for the trial of the Jews in Jerusalem as a whole. Anyone who can't understand that simple sentence and is still waffling about J J Christ killers or silly rubbish like that, please shut up. You give the church and yourself a bad name. Despite the outcry of a manipulated crowd and the global reproaches contained in the apostles' calls to conversion after Pentecost, Jesus himself in forgiving them on the cross and Peter in following suit, we both accept the ignorance of the Jews of Jerusalem and even of their leaders. Still less can we extend responsibility to other Jews of different times and places. Unless we're going to start accusing every German living today of the Holocaust, or every Japanese person living today of the horrors of Imperial Japan, or every Irish person of being an IRA member, or equal piece of stupidity, then we need to stop doing that rubbish. Neither all Jews indiscriminately at that time nor Jews today can be charged with the crimes committed during his passions. The Jews should not be spoken of as rejected or accursive as if this followed from Holy Scripture, footnote 388. This is rejected again in this document from 1965 by Pope Paul the fifth, where he sort of like at Vatican II, Nostra Aetate, where he spoke about this. Now, the word Jew appears in this a numerous number of times, so you're going to see me press Alt-F and find Jew, because otherwise I'll be here all day doing this. Here we go. True, the Jewish authorities and those who follow their lead press for the death of Jesus Christ. Footnote 13. This is downloadable at the Vatican's website, and there will be a link for it. Still, what happened in his passion cannot be charged against all the Jews without distinction, then alive, nor against the Jews of today. Although the church is the new people of God, the Jews should not be presented as rejected or cursed by God, as it is followed from the Holy Scriptures. All should see to that, then, that in Catholic, Catholic work or in the preaching of the Word of God, they do not teach anything that does not conform to the truth of the Gospel and the Spirit of Christ. Furthermore, in a rejection of every persecution against any man, the church, mindful of the patrimony she shares with the Jew, and moved not by political reasons, but the gospel, spiritual love, decries hatreds, persecution, displays of anti-Semitism, directed against Jews at any time and by anyone. That's all I have to say on that issue, but to see people attempting to still be doing the, the complete wickedness of calling all the Jews Christ killers endlessly, which has produced 
an endless round of back and forth and unpleasantness between Jews and Christians across centuries and led to horrors beyond belief is, re is vile.